Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nicole here and today I'm going to share with you my tools that I use for analog drawing. Okay, so this is a simple eCare basket and this is the basket that holds all my analog tools. I just prefer to put them all in a basket because it just helps neaten everything on the table. And when I need to clear it, I can just put it onto the basket and also I can carry it around with me around the house. Let's first start with the papers. So I have this kind of a magazine. It's an old magazine and basically what I do is this is for my backing so I usually tear out a piece of paper and just stick it on here so I use the scotch tape and stick it around creating that border so when you're done with the paint when you peel it off it gives that nice clean edge like this piece so you put the scotch tape so that it acts as an edge and you can draw right to the end and then peel away that's like one of my favorite parts about drawing with paint, that part where you peel it off and everything looks so nice and neat. For the scotch tape, I use this matte finish removable tape. Sometimes it does peel off some of the paper, but most of the time it works. I'm not sure what other people use for their scotch tape, but this is what I use. And in terms of paper, this is a very cheap um, drawing block that I bought from any popular or whatever but it's honestly not a very good paper because like, it's not meant for watercolour or anything like that so if you use too much water then uh, the paper like crinkles up and it's not very good so the paper that I like to use and I just used it is this brand it's actually quite cheap I think and it's specifically for watercolour and it's a 220 GSM which is like really thick and cold pressed too so I like to paint in an A5 size and you can see the paper quality is really good and it's a bit textured so when it comes to paint like from the very beginning I was using this watercolor set but as time goes by I actually really like the effect of gouache or gouache I don't know how to pronounce that properly but basically it's like it's also a water based or water soluble paint it dries up with a more opaque paint so like watercolor is a little bit more transparent -y and you can see the back of the paper and but this one is a bit thicker so I did think about experimenting and using gouache but gouache is actually quite expensive so instead of using gouache I decided to just use whatever I had I wanted to try it out first before I committed to anything and so I decided to go with poster colour and I strangely really ended up really liking it I went online to google a bit and they said that actually poster colour is kind of like the cheaper version of gouache and to be honest it works for me and I like that the paint is not too expensive so that I can paint a lot. So this is the paint that I use. It's just a very typical poster colour paint that you can get from any any bookshop. Here are the colours that they have. Yes, they are not put back properly. <laughs> so very basic colours. This is like um, poster colour set and honestly the colours are more than enough to make a lot of different kind of colours. Recently I just picked this up which is also a poster colour but it's in a different brand called Sakura and I just wanted like a lot of white because I used my white so much that it's almost empty in this one so I just wanted to have like a lot of white paint and this whole bottle is only $2 something I went to the store to try to find out how much a set of gouache was and it was actually $18 so that is the difference between this it's about like 3 times the price so palette just a simple white palette that you can see everywhere. These are the brushes that I use. So I bought it from this shop at Sunshine Plaza. It's an art shop and this is where I got most of my brushes from. I tried to look for them at Art Friend but strangely I couldn't find it. So it's an extra fine poster colour brush which is like perfect for me because I use poster colour right. So I have the flat tip brush and this really small thin brush for outlining stuff it's extra fine and I recently just picked this up 
it's a more of a rounded brush and I think that I'm gonna use it to paint like palm trees and more um, leaf and stuff like that. I actually really really love um, this flat tip brush and it really suits my painting style and the way like I like things to be so I'm so happy I got this. I think that the size and like the shape of a brush is really quite subjective so I'm not sure if everyone would enjoy it but I really love having this flat tip brush. And so that's all the stuff that I use for my analog painting. I hope that you had fun checking out what is in my analog painting basket. What's in my painting basket? I don't know. Or let me know what are your favorite painting tools or if there's anything you'd like me to try, let me know in the comments below. Stay tuned on this channel for the next video of um, my digital tools I use for illustration. See you in the next video. Bye!